Well hello boys and girls, welcome to the Rusty Scale Decal Solution Check. While I was working on my current build, the F4F4 Wildcat model kit of Airfix in 172 scale, yes, I went with the Wildcat, check the video up here, then you will know what I'm talking about. It's the Wildcat versus the Warhawk, and I decided to build the Wildcat. So while I was working on it, and it was time to lay down some decals, I had an idea. I thought, why not doing a decal solution check? So I grabbed some of my decal solutions I have here on my workbench and I tested them out because I had four decals, I mean, exact like similar decals to place on the upper surface and the lower surface on the wings. So of course, I had to include Mr. Mark Setter and Mr. Mark Softer, these two guys here, because they've been confusing me all the way. And um, I will tell you, I will tell you a little bit more about why they were confusing me in a second. And the third one was this one here, the um, decal adapter solution of AK Interactive, which was completely new to me and I haven't used it before. I didn't even know that this was on the market until I discovered it on my go-to online hobby shop, Suter Mecken, a great hobby shop, by the way. I have actually never been there in person but I've been there so many times online and whenever I'm looking for something, the first place to go is Sutermecken. Trust me. So yeah, I wanted to use this as well because I haven't used it at all before. So I'm not going to do any kind of a field, just test on some parts. No, it's on my actual build because this is how we do things in the Rusty Scale Show because we love the thrill of scale modeling. In every step, everything can go wrong. All right, so let's find out if anything went wrong by testing these three decal solutions. And uh, yeah, what, 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 what I wanted to say. So what we're gonna do is four checks, okay? First, Mr. Mark Setter, only. Then, Mr. Mark Softer, only. Then, AK Decal Adapter Solution, only. And then we will, combined these two fellas, setter and softer, okay? Now I told you that these two fellas are confusing me and I will tell you why right now, okay? So, I mean, I watch the videos, okay? Everything is like uh, more or less common sense that this thing is the setter. It is kind of a decal glue with some kind of a softening uh, function as well, okay? And this one is the pure softer. So the best you could do is apply this first, then put the decal on it, and then apply this over the decal. So far, so good. When it gets confusing, it's as often in scale modeling, when you start reading the instructions. Now we start with this. This is from Japan, this product, I, I think. I believe it's from Japan. So I don't know how about who did the translation of the instructions, but what it says here is the softer, okay? This is the softer, where people say you apply it over the decal, okay? How to use, wait, I need light. First, apply a quick drop to the area the decal is supposed to be fixed by using the brush attached to the cap. Ah, put this before you place the decal as well. I thought that, apply decal over it, good. Apply gentle pressure to the decal with a soft cloth. Remove any excessive liquor, liquor and stick down the decal fast. And that's it. So no applying over the decal. That's confusing, right? Then, the Mr. Mark Setter. How to use? Mr. Mark Setter Neo softens and strengthens the adhesiveness of decals. It softens and strengthens. First apply a quick drop to the area the decal is supposed to be fixed by using the brush attached to the cap and apply the decal. That's the same as here. All right, then apply it additionally over the attached decal if necessary. Ah, oh. so this has to be applied over the attached decal. Then remove any excessive liquor again and stick down the decal fast. So I'd stick down the decal fast. I don't know exactly what they mean, but 
Yeah, maybe the translator know that. But the thing is, what I want to point out is, this should be applied over the decal according to the instructions, and this not. This is just to apply before you place the decal according to the instructions. So that's what got me confused all the time. And that's why I thought, let's try those babies out, like each one separate and then in the combination. Let's do it, Jack. So we're gonna start our test with this beautiful round USAF markings. And number one on the line will be Mr. Mark Setter only. We will be only using Mr. Mark Setter to see how that works. Now the procedure that I'm doing um, to apply the decals is always the same, more or less the same. First, I apply some of the decal solution. Then I place the decal over it. Then I will brush it with a dry flat brush onto the surface and make sure there is no liquid underneath the decal so we won't be uh, so we can avoid air bubbles at the end. And then of course I will clean the area and get rid of the excess liquid which will be around uh, the decal because if you leave that to dry um, it can leave a marking you know it can get some kind of a stain. The same is that when you apply the decal solution over the decal um, you have to make sure that it, it, I mean they always say you should not touch it afterwards but make sure that no liquid is accumulating in some small areas you have to go over it with, with the brush again to make sure that no liquid will accumulate because that will leave a marking most probably So here I'm brushing the decal on, onto the surface, and now I'm applying the Mr. Mark Setter over the decal. Now Mr. Mark Setter is very milky and it leaves kind of a milky residue around the decal and on the decal itself in that um, royal blue that we have there. It left a kind of a milky look. Now number two is Mr. Mark Softer. I apply Mr. Mark Softer as it says in the instruction before I place the decal. Then I make sure the positioning is correct, brush it onto the surface. This time I'm doing it with a disposable stick. I'm using a cotton bud to clean the area around and here I just realized that the positioning was not 100% correct. Okay, and then apply some of the softer over the decal. Now the softer alone works very good. Now number three is the uh, decal adapter solution of AK and since the instruction on the bottle don't mention that you should apply um, the liquid before you place the decal, I used my go-to mix. That's the X1, X1, X1 mix I showed. It's one part water, one part softer, and one part setter. It is my go-to mix. I always apply it before I, I any decal even touch the surface. And that is a very good um, tip from Model Meister Bob. Uh, thanks, Bob, again. That is great stuff. I always use it now. So here, yeah, I didn't have anything to apply before I placed the decal since I shouldn't apply the adapter solution of AK first. At least it's not mentioned in the instructions. So I thought I use my go-to mix. So here the same procedure, brush it on and then brush on some of the solution. Now this um, uh, AK solution is very sticky and thick. It's kind of thick and it dries very slow. Now number four is the combination of setter and softer. So first apply some of the setter, then place the decal. Brush it onto the surface, get rid of the liquid underneath. And then use Mr. Mark softer over it. Now we have to let it dry check the results and then do our verdict. Here I'm using a MO decal application brush, it's number three, and you can use it, yeah, you know, also to make the decal fit onto the surface. 
you can push it into the, the panel lines or whatever you have, an uneven surface. It works pretty fine. I mean, you don't need this, but it's a nice tool to, to have. Now, just quickly, before we see the results, I wanted to show you the very sharp looking red and white striped decal for the rudder will not fit um, behind the horizontal, horizontal stabilizer unless you cut a piece out and then it fits pretty nicely. Yeah, so these are the results of Mr. Mark um, setter first, first the setter. That's the softer already. And this is just after the first uh, coat has dried, okay? I will apply some more and then we'll see the real final results. This is like a, a pre-result, okay? Softer looks very good. Setter was, yeah, and here is the AK decal adapter solution. And the light is not perfect. There are a lot of hairs here from using the cotton bud that much to clean everything. And I, yeah, I'm sorry for that. Now don't mind the little white markings. I just um, sanded the decals with a sponge and I will do chippings there. This is the final result of the setter. Different coats, many coats on it already. This is the one with the softer. I mean many coats, like I don't know, three, three or four maybe. This is the AK one. And number four will be the combination of setter and softer. And now we will quickly head back to the studio for the verdict. Uh, back to you, Chris. Thanks, Chris. All right, now it's time for the verdict of the very first Rusty Scale Decal Solution Check. We have four candidates and we will start with the fourth place. Fourth place is Mr. Mark Setter. Now the setter is, as I understand, at some kind of glue to make sure they fit onto the surface. If maybe you had them in the water for some time or the decals are quite old, then the adhesive of, of the decal can get diluted with water and when you place it on the surface it won't stick once it dries it will just fall off so this is here to prevent that happening and it also has a function of softening but it's not that strong and you can clearly see that in the results or I could see it maybe I don't know if you could see it on the camera but I could see it then also it's very milky and it leaves this milky residue you have to be re really careful that you get rid of all of it and also when you apply it over the decal you need to be sure that it's not accumulating in some areas because you will have like some kind of a white stain or something there. So that's that's number four. Number three to me in this test were these two combined here, these two combined. Because for those decals, I didn't really need the setter at all, really. So the second place, second place and first place was really a head to head, okay? Because these two are still in the race. And I really think that they are quite similar, okay, quite similar. I mean, the difference is very small, but I think second place is Mr. Mark Softer. It works very well. It's, it's good, I can't complain about anything. It's just that number one, the AK decal adapter solution, I really liked it because, okay, it's very new. I never had it in my hands, okay? That is, that is a kind of a bonus. Um, but then it's quite thick and it takes a long time to dry. That is not really a plus, but it's quite strong. The effect is quite strong. So already after the first coat had dried of this, it was, you know, the decal was more onto the surface than on any other. I can say that maybe like two coats of this will match one coat of this. So that's why I think I'll go with this. It takes quite a while to dry, that's a con, 
but um, the effect is, is strong. So these two, they are very good. I can recommend them both. They're both top notch in my eyes. So yeah, you don't go, uh, you don't do anything wrong if you pick one of those, okay? So that was my verdict of the first decal solution check. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did so, please hit the like button, hit me up with a comment, let me know what you think. You can go to, head over to my channel, subscribe to my channel, turn on the bell so you'll get a notification whenever a new video goes online so you will not miss it. And um, yeah, let me know what you think, all right? Because it will help the video much more than you may think. All right, so see you in the next video. Good fight, good night. <laughs>